I came back around to document where I put the other ones and I already lost one of my own eggs. I can't even find my own egg, how stupid. All right, I found it, it's right down there. Is, is it gonna be too hard for them to find though, since I had trouble finding it? Hey, it's a lot easier for me finding Pablo Escobar's money than when you put the eggs. I didn't know I'd need like hiking gear, exactly. you know. Yeah. Who snake, brought the ice snake trip. bike kit? Right. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see behind me here, I have a whole bunch of sealed FMS products. I have partnered up with FMS. They have a new program, it's called FMS Go, and I was selected to be one of the first ambassadors. Basically, I'm gonna be helping them organize events, and in this case, I got some Easter eggs. I'm gonna go hide these Easter eggs, take some pictures, but they will then display them on their website for a few of the guys I've selected to participate in this event. If they find one with the prize, they win it. I'm just really excited about this, guys. I don't know how your boy landed this little roll here. Sometimes things just work out. I was first contacted them because of Hot Wheels and the little mini car they made with the camera and it's come here so just once again guys chase your dreams man you never know where things are gonna end up. In any case this is basically the first FMS Go video. I'm going to hide the easter eggs on Sunday. I'm gonna have my friends out there with me. They'll search for the eggs. We'll get some cool shots and then we'll get some pizza or something after. We have the Jeep looking thing. It's the Rock Hobby which is like another brand of FMS's. The Mash again 110 scale which is clearly a Jeep but unlicensed. The the Atlas, which I believe is like a Dodge Power Wagon or something. I don't know the exact name. We got two of those. I think one of them is red and one of them is blue. And then we have another one of the 10th scale Blazers down here, the K5. It's black. Mine over there is brown and yellow. And then I also have the FCX24 Power Wagon as well as another FCX18 Chevy K10. They sent me the same color for this one though. So I actually have, you can see the other one over there red and black. I actually have two of the same color though, so. And then we have a box full of prizes here. I got some shirts, I got some flags, a toolkit, some bags, and of course, a 1 18th scale crawler. It is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. I'm really excited about this, guys. Like I said, I have no idea how I ended up in this position, but I did, and I'm gonna make the best of it and try to do the best I can. That's it for this little intro, guys. That's what these boxes are for. If you're not following me on Instagram, my page is Mike's Hobby Planet, just like YouTube. If you have been following me though, you've seen these already. Now you know why I posted them. Let's go hide some Easter eggs. <laughs> It's that day, I'm at my favorite little beach park area. Two hours beforehand, I gotta go hide the eggs. I bought 100 munchkins, hindsight, I probably only needed 50. The car is loaded up, got all the stuff in the back. I decided to leave these in the box. I thought maybe it would be fun for them to open them, you know, cause it's like a new toy they get to open. I thought that would be interesting. It's kind of chilly, but it should be nice today. I got the prizes right there. The prizes are a hat, a bag, a t-shirt, some keychains, a tool set, like an accessory, and then an 18th scale crawler. So obviously everyone's gonna want the 18th scale crawler. So now I have to take my bag here. I got these eggs. I gotta put the little prize numbers in them and then go hide them. So let's go do that. All right, I got all my little numbers inside these eggs. There's five eggs. So I'm just gonna go around now and find a couple spots to hide these. I'm thinking I should probably hide the easiest closest to me, but then also kind of mix in the hard one. And then when I'm done, I just have to take pictures of it. So I think the first egg is gonna go somewhere over here. I mean, this might be way too easy. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I gotta make it sort of difficult, I think, but I also, I, I don't know. They, I don't know if they're familiar with the area, but either way, I'll remember where they are. So if they get confused, I can guide them in the right direction. I think this is gonna be my first landmark right here. So I'll step back and take a picture because that's most likely what they're gonna see. We'll get these rocks in the background and the building. All right, so we have prize number five in the orange egg and I'm gonna hide it somewhere over here, right next to this landmark. That will be the first prize and that is the shirt. I'm gonna put it right under this and it's about that far away. We'll just tuck it right under here. Oh man, I hope they can find it. It needs to be a little difficult though, so 
I would imagine it shouldn't be too hard, but I do want this to be kind of fun too. I don't want it to just be over immediately. The next prize, prize number four, is the pink egg, and that one is going to be the hat and the bag. I don't know though, the uh, it's FMS who picked the order of these, and some might think a hat and bag or t-shirt is better than a little accessory or toolkit, but either way, I'm gonna make sure these are fun for everybody. Nobody's gonna lose out. I got some keychains and stuff too. If people are mad or not happy, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something, but I think they should be, you know, pretty willing to work with me on something like this. The parking area is way down there, and this is the area where we're gonna be playing in, so I have to look around here somewhere. All right, so I got a picture of this tree. And then I guess I'm just gonna have to just find a way to tuck it here. Hopefully no one finds this by the next two hours. I think I'm gonna keep it simpler and just kind of put it down in there. Up next is prize number three in the purple egg and it is for the little accessory kit that you can put on your crawlers, like a little barrel and some extra stuff. I think for this one, since it's prize three and not the best prize, I think I'm gonna hide this one the farthest. I don't know how far is too far. I just kind of want to keep it in this area. It's also really windy. All right, I think down here by this park bench is perfect. This is clearly an obvious area right here. I mean, a picture of this says everything. I bet you right under these would be just perfect. There we go. Up next, prize two is in the blue egg. And I think I'm gonna put it over here next to these trees here. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult, right? I don't want these guys searching for hours. All I gotta do is walk over here and line up the hotels, and they should be able to figure out where they are. So we'll snap this picture right here. All right, I think I'm gonna tuck it right down in here. Let's take a moment to appreciate the beautiful Florida West Coast. It's so windy, I hope it calms down really do. All right, the number one prize everyone's gonna want, the 18th scale FJ Cruiser Mini Crawler. It's in the yellow egg. I hope this goes okay, guys. I hope there's not a bunch of angry adults. So I'm gonna take a picture of the hill with the tree behind it, and let's go find a spot. I think just like right down in here should be perfect. I don't think this should be too difficult for a couple adults to find, right? Unfortunately, there aren't gonna be any children. I was hoping that there would be. But the one guy with the kid was able to make it. There you go. I think that's pretty good. All right, so I came back around to document where I put the other ones and I already lost one of my own eggs. I wasn't, I didn't think this through. I, uh, so if I'm unable to find it, then it might be really difficult for them, so. I think I'm gonna make it a little easier once I find this. I can't even find my own egg, how stupid. All right, I found it, it's right down there. Is, is it gonna be too hard for them to find though, since I had trouble finding it? We got about an hour left, so we're just gonna kinda hang around here. I'll see you when they're all here. We got Ryan here, he's my first member, team member, guest, whatever you wanna call it, arrived. We're out on the beach right now, this is an absolutely beautiful beach. Did you ever publish a geocaching video? So now there's context. I will find everything faster than everyone because I am a geocache. All right, all right. I thought about putting that video up on a different channel because I don't think it'll get any views on my channel. Let me know, guys, if you enjoyed the Easter egg hunt. We have another cool hunting video. If you're not familiar with geocaching, check them out and let me know. The event's about to start. Ryan's got his plane out. He's like me. Everywhere he goes, he has to fly something. Awesome friend, good friend, dumb friend, dumb friend, fly. All right, guys, we are out here. We're gonna go with. I'm telling you, I love the little one. Dude, the little one is the best. The K10 is the best. My Mickey Mouse ears. So we got Ryan with the Mickey Mouse ears. Walt Disney's got. We got George and John in the background. I met them at the hobby shop. A couple cool dudes came out to help support me. It was supposed to be seven people, but we're down to three that's all right. I'm happy to be doing this right now. We haven't done any Easter egg hunting yet. We're just kind of messing around with the toys. The guys on the boats just gave us a thumbs up. We gotta drive the eggs in the cars back. All right, there you go. All right, we're off to find the first egg. Let's see who finds it first. Let me try the blue one. Oh yeah, the blue one's real quick. 
I don't know, I think it's the other way around. That's pretty cool. That was a cool shot, right? Yeah. My geocaching senses tell me. Yeah, Mike's like, oh yeah, it's that rattlesnake then. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna have to just... Look at he's so confused! <laughs> Mike, I love you, man. The other ones are not this hard to find. I don't know why I forgot where this one was. Mike, it's just one? You didn't just put it at the base of the tree? <laughs> yeah, it's just one. I mean, that's what I would have done. I would have just like thrown All a right. handful over there in the corner. <laughs> there they are. We're going, we're going to number two. Yeah, I'm going through the, here, get a shot of the, me going through the flowers. Nice and slow. Just gets hung up. <laughs> All right, we're skipping the first egg. Don't worry, the first egg's not the good one. So I showed them the location to see if they can find it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big time geocacher. So I was like, yeah, yeah, so it's fine. You gotta be some no problem. This is a big problem. Cold. Warm. You're all very, very warm. All of you are like basically burning yourself. Are we sure it hasn't blown away? Yes. Can I see it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Ryan's got it in his back pocket. <laughs> Ryan's not an expert if he can't find this. Mike? Come on, Ryan, I'm disappointed. Buried under the earth? No. Hidden from view? Yes. They're all sort of hidden from view. Aha! Got it? There you go. We got ourselves an egg, gentlemen. It's the only one you're gonna find. <laughs> Do I open it yet? Yeah, yeah. All right, you got your number? Yeah. All right, cool. You guys can switch numbers and then I'll tell you the prizes at the end. Ryan got the first egg, moving on to the next spot. I should have worn real soon. Yeah, right? the K-10 who could, man. All right, we got a couple people in a family. Stopped by, trying the trucks out. Look how far down he's got the crazy. At the next spot, it's somewhere over there. It's a lot easier for me finding Pablo Escobar's money than what you think of I didn't know I'd need like hiking gear. Exactly. You know, yeah. who snake, brought the ice snake trip. bike kit? Right. <laughs> <laughs> who brought the mountain climbing gear? Nice. Hey, you know what? Let me just give another every 10 minutes kudos to the jelly beans. I mean, I mean, that is pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Oh, I can't tell you the number, right? Nope. Go to the jelly beans. Tell us the jelly beans? Cool. Alright. Alright, guys, the day is over. We gave away the prizes. I'll put a picture right here. My phone was dying. I totally forgot to film the rest of it, but everybody found the eggs. It was a good event. It came out pretty good. Ryan run the crawler. He's really excited about that. Let's say it. Let's say it. Hey. Say it courtesy of John. Yes. John actually won it, guys. But John won it, and then I tried to buy it from him, and then he put it in my trunk. Yeah. So, John, if you watch this, you just made a young man's day. Sure did. So, thank you. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Cool. Now is this oil shocks? No, they're spring. My cat is gonna love it. Battery should already be in it. All right, the event is over. We are now at a restaurant. Only Ryan was able to come. The other two said no problem on the food. So I'm gonna buy Ryan lunch. FMS <laughs> is now my favorite company <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> right? All right, food's here. But the appetizer came as a meal. I don't know why. Real quick before we end this video, guys, Ryan and I 
are in my backyard right now. We have this little competition going here to see who. It's not a competition. It's, it's a slaughter. It's, it's a slaughter. I've won like 11 times in a row. But right. continue. I'm sorry. All right. So basically, it's a push test. I'm telling him the Toyota is better. He was using this. We've switched. Let's see if he beats me again. Okay. It's literally used. It's driver error. I'm incredible at this. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next one.